Hi. Well, I've got my 1972 uh, Firestar, my Seabrook Firestar band shell jukebox. Well, it's a USC2. A lot of names for it. Anyway, this is I picked this up and it was dirty and not working and I've got it working for the most part. And now it's time to do the neck logical thing is to actually clean it because the people before didn't know how to clean and before I put it in the house. So, one of the things I'm doing is the title strips. And it came with a lot of old title strips and new records. So, I, uh, moving these out. Next to impossible to do one-handed. But one thing that I was noticing when I was looking from the top is the title strips, uh, you get the, the lights below because you've got your, your fluorescent lamp down here that actually shines through the back side of this so you can see them. And it was kind of dingy and dirty, and I was looking at it, and I realized that these things aren't clean. The plastic isn't clean, like the whole record player. It's, uh, it's not clean. So, besides changing out the title strips to newer ones that aren't faded by the sun, I decided I wanted to clean this. I want to be very gentle with that. And so what I did <clears throat> is I decided I'm going to use water. I don't want to use all the super duper cleaners full of all kind of chemicals that are going to eat the good plastics and all the good surface stuff. I just want to be gentle. So what I've done is I went ahead and I took a paper towel with some water and I just wiped it on there and it got some of the brown off, and a lot of the brown off. Actually, you're seeing a lot less now than what it was before. And then I let it sit for a while. And then after that, I've now gone in here and I've, I'm using a magic eraser type sponge, I think it's a knockoff, and just a little bit of water. Make sure it's, I just want it just damp. I don't want it dripping because I've got the <laughs> jukebox playing and don't want to drip water into live electrical. But you see how this is cleaner now? I've done these ones just basically doing that. I'll show you on here. I'm just going to put it on here. I'm not even using any pressure. This is oh so gentle. Just letting it do its job. I don't know if you can tell that or not, but the difference. Just an old sweet song. I don't know if you can see the difference on that or not, but it's a remarkable difference. And I'm just getting all this brown goo off. I have no idea where it's from. Don't want to know what it was. All I want to do is gently take it off without ruining the plastic because this plastic is old and over time plastic degrades and breaks down so I want to be nice to the plastic. This isn't, if you're, if you're a person that has to have it done now and wants to put the strongest crappiest chemical you can possibly put on it you are going to have a jukebox that's going to have problems and things are going to fall apart just because it's old. It doesn't like that. Look at that. Yep, look at that. That's just disgusting. A little bit of water. Anyway, oh, if you want to know how to open it, you just push these two tabs. And that lifts it up. Like that. So that, look at how, I don't think you can really tell the difference, but just, those are clean. That one's not clean enough. That one I just cleaned. And this is not. Remarkable difference. Just makes it look a lot better. Okay, might as well listen to some more music here. One of my kids' favorites. Let's see if it'll play it. You know, I haven't cleaned this all the way up on the inside at all. I've oiled it, I've lubed it, uh, I fixed some things here and there, but uh, it is not where I want it to be yet. Yep, you're going to get a great song now. And for those that don't know how to get in here, I'll show you. This lid. Yes, that is the hokey pokey. Alright, so the way that you get into this machine. Oops, sorry. Okay, there's two locks. There's a key on this side and one on the other side. And you turn those to unlock the lid. The place I keep the key is up here so I don't lose it because this will open the top up. That actually, well, I'll just show you if you unlock that. And this piece you can pull down 
And this is my digital control center, which is a, this particular model, the DCC2. And over here is your amplifier. And this one happens to be a TSA10. And to get to those, you always turn the power off, unplug it, and then you flip the switch back there. And these actually lift up this way so you can get to them from the back. They sit upright. But that's not important. What I was going to show you is how to get into this. So you've unlocked the two locks on the side. You gently pull this back. And it's on rollers. And once you get up there, there's a spot right up in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift this up and it's actually going to drop into that spot. You can see that now. And that's where it sits. And of course, once you have that piece up, then the front comes off and it's a fairly easy thing to do. Uh, first thing I always do is I take out the fluorescent light and that little black piece behind it come out. Because light bulbs, when you break them in there, they're a real pain to clean out. But then the next thing that comes out is this piece here. I'm just pushing with my hand. And this just lifts right out. But the lid actually holds it in place. So Anyway, I hope that uh, gave you some information. If you happen to have a... Uh, I think about getting a Firestar. A band shell, a USC2, a Seabird 1972 jukebox.